Let's get started making web pages with Smalltalk. We'll download Squeak to begin. Over here on the right hand side are a variety of ways to download. We'll look at Mac and Windows today. Linux is another video. This is how it looks for the PC. Pretty straightforward. This is how it looks for the Mac. Drag the round icon over the gear icon. So we clear up the window. And what we're going to do is open, uh, click on the background, click open, and then Monticello browser. We click add repository, and then HTTP. We change foo.com to www.squeaksource.com. We change bar to com HTTP server. Accept that and press open. Now we're going to install three things. We're going to start with dynamic bindings. Click in the, in the top right pane, press load, then com services, same thing. And then finally HTTP server. That gives us a server called Comanche inside our squeak image. Now we get rid of that and we're going to add something else again. HTTP again. www.squeaksource.com again. Except this time it's going to be Seaside for the Seaside web framework. Seaside 2.8.3. In the left hand pane, scroll down to CSI 2.8 A1. Then download the latest version of that. It'll ask you for a username and password. For now, put in admin and seaside. You can change it later. We get rid of Monticello browser, click on the background, open, and then workspace. In workspace, we type in WA com space start on colon 8080. We highlight that, and then we do it. Now we can go to a browser, type in localhost colon 8080 slash seaside, and we can look at the seaside framework itself. When you go to the um, config page, it'll ask you for the username and password which you provided earlier. 